Hello, I'd like to introduce the new Blumsafe keypad. Um, it has a, a better display, a fingerprint, and a, a, you have an optional key card and key fob that you can program as well. Uh, this is the new battery uh, compartment that needs to be installed um, with the cables that are easy to um, match up as well as the door control piece that will hook into this area over here. We will explain that later in the video. First of all, we have to unscrew these four um, big screws on the side of here. Slightly because it is going to drop, but it might be nice if you have somebody who can help you to just hold it. reason why I'm using my hands is because I had to use my left hand. It may be easier when it's actually in the wall and you have to do this. Gently just turn it over, disconnect the old uh, connector. It doesn't matter if this pops out at all because this is no longer needed. There you go. Alright, the next clip is me flipping this over. And now we're aiming for these two little screws here and this screw over here. We have to unclip this red one over here and this one over here. And the next part is we don't need this one anymore but to try and keep this together, if possible. If you can't, don't worry. There you go. That is this comes in three components, little battery box. Um, I think this controls the door, this little one over here, and obviously your new keypad. Um, the keypad is currently um, hooked in, so you have to take this little lead out, we're going to put this one back into the door over here. There you go. Nice view. And you can take this off before you try and put that in. If you don't, don't worry. You didn't mess anything up. Over. The next one to put back is this little guy over here. Um, you're going to need to find the holes. So just flip it over so you can see the holes. Otherwise, you're going to... Now you're going to take this one and you're going to plug it back into this section over here. It's kind of a stretch but it can be done there you go um next part we're gonna do now is we okay one goes into reset and the white and black one or the white one over here goes into the motor section I'm going to just take the old keypad off now. Okay, here it 
here comes your new keypad. Okay, when you put it on, make sure you put it the right side up. Otherwise, you're going to have to unscrew everything and do it again. We don't want to do that, do we? Okay. You're going to want to make sure that you have it tight enough, but don't strip the um, over tighten it. Otherwise, you could strip the, um, the plastic piece on the other side of the keypad and it could potentially break, but don't want to jinx ourselves. Just setting these up. Now this long piece is going to connect into this little connector over here easy to see it's the only one that doesn't have a plug in it currently okay and now We have just changed the keypad on the Bloomsafe door. 